actually, <laughs> well, let's also be honest here, okay? Um, most Filipino guys, they're not into dark skin girls. That's the truth. They're That's also truth. not into black girls. Mm. I mean, speaking facts here, okay? How about you? Are you in a relationship? Have you tried dating a Filipino guy? Lagos um, is the capital of Nigeria. It used to be the former capital, mm. but Abuja, Nigeria is the capital. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adi and I'm a third year medical student studying in the Philippines and I have with me my friend. Yeah. <laughs> She's a <Sister>. Nigerian. <laughs> my friend and sister. She is a Nigerian Filipino living in Philippines. I actually made a video with her and I'm going to be posting the link to the video in the description box. Make sure to also watch and I'm also going to be posting the link to her channel <laughs> yes. on the screen and also in the description box make sure to check her out okay <laughs> don't forget to subscribe me as well yeah <laughs> what's what's the meaning of this i love heart it's hard hard uh, what am i like doing i can't do that no. this wait like this and that that's it yeah that's it ah it's i hard. always see. try a korean thing <laughs> i always see hard. filipinos do this yeah it's a korean thing you know filipinos are k-pop lovers so we got it from okay. Korean K-pop. <laughs> Do you live alone here? I'm actually living in an apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment, mm -hmm. and then I have a I have Nigerian housemates, ladies. Oh, wow. yeah. It'll be great to actually meet some yeah. of your friends. Really? Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe the day you will come for the Nigerian. Ah. I should have invited you. Like that yeah. day we I didn't know. <laughs> you stop invited the other but anyways we, we can do another one yeah how about in your vlog you were cooking nigerian food for your filipino friends my <laughs> classmates <laughs> they loved have you tried jollof no what's that it's rice but it's made it's made with tomato and oh. vegetables haven't tried is that a nigerian food? yeah i haven't tried the famous nigerian, nigerian jollof <laughs> like nothing beats that <laughs> cheers Cheers. This is our way of drinking, guys. Healthy. <laughs> <laughs> we're not drinking. This is what we're doing. <laughs> Vitamin meal. Vitamin meal. Yeah. Tagay. <laughs> so, but do you know where your dad is? Right now, no. But why he, did he, he just go? I mentioned it to my mom that, like, some time ago he went to UK to visit his siblings there. He has two siblings who live in UK. Well, how about. You know the internet is a very small word. Does he know you? I like as an adult? Yes. He, he I'm knows using his last name. But he he knows you and has he seen like maybe your picture as an adult? Does um, he know no. you? But if he sees you he would recognize you. Well if he searched me in Facebook he would recognize you. Yeah, because I'm using my name in Facebook, so <coughs> yeah, I actually this, tried this, looking this for him online but I did not find him, so I just you know, try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, I don't know, like, it's a personal, but I don't know why he would just, like, not keep in touch with you guys, you know? Mm, well, it's his thing. <laughs> yeah. He had his own reasons. Yeah. yeah let's just respect him. But did he marry? Do you know? Mm, not that I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what if somebody reaches out <laughs> in our video and say, oh, like, you? oh, I'm your dad. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> <laughs> Really? No hard feelings. <laughs> it's really lovely. Your kids are going to be so beautiful. Uh -huh. Like Filipino, Nigerian. Nigerians. Oh, Filipinos are beautiful. Nigerians are yeah. beautiful. All you know when I saw you, I, was, I kept looking at you. I'm like, this girl, is she African? <laughs> is she Nigerian? Like, I was so confused. I was like, no, let me just go and ask you. Mm -hmm. Even though I was in a hurry that day, but I was like, let me just go and ask you. Mm -hmm. And then I asked you, you were like, you're like, oh my God, you're Nigerian. Yeah. <laughs> you remember I mean, my, I was so excited. Fly, yeah. It's, it's soft, but it's still, it still has this, yeah. my hair is kind of, you see, my hair it's is also like a different a, strand. Her own hair is like a softer version of my mm -hmm. hair. It's still like, it has that, um, kinky yeah, feel, still kinky. but it's still kind of soft. Yeah, it's and really the eye, they don't fly. Yeah, <laughs> very African. 
You're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you too. My sister, I have one sister. She married from Imo State, mm. from your dad's state. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so my dad is there. But he's not from Ori. My, my sister's husband is from another place called Akopa, still in Imo State. So Imo people are like my, <laughs> my <laughs> relations. How about you? Are you in a relationship? No, I'm single. Oh, wow. Have you tried dating a Filipino guy? That's the thing. Filipino, um, uh, it's very common for, it's very common to see Nigerian guys dating Filipino girls, mm -hmm. but I've never seen a, a Nigerian girl dating a Filipino guy. I've never seen. Uh, Have you seen? Um, to be honest, I've never no. seen. Okay. Actually, <laughs> well, let's also be honest here, okay? Um, most Filipino guys, they're not into dark-skinned girls. That's the truth. They're That's also truth. not into black girls. Mm. I mean, speaking facts here, okay? They prefer their fellow Filipinos. Fellow Filipinos or white girls. They're also not into dark-skinned Filipinos. So, I mean, if you have Wait, noticed... Aside from the mixed Filipinos, mm -hmm. like the mixed ones like you, yeah. are there black Filipinos? I mean, dark-skinned Filipinos. I mean, the original color of Filipinos are, I mean, it's brown. So, okay. So there are a lot of like, you know, Morena, we call it Morena. Morena uh, girls. Okay. You know, Morena girls are really, really beautiful. Okay. But the thing is, I mean, I think, you know, it's just a matter of choice, but most Filipino guys, they like white girls. So somebody also mentioned that maybe because they are shy, I don't know, I've, I've Head that maybe they are shy to talk to a black girl. I didn't really know that maybe it's because they don't really like um, to date black girls. But a lot of Filipino girls date black guys. Oh, yeah. They really love black guys. So why <laughs> why why don't they like Filipinos? Why are they dating <laughs> our black guys? <laughs> uh, Filipino guys, you answer the question why you're not dating black girls. <laughs> Could you please enlighten us? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> No, no offense anyway, like yeah. we're just having a discussion, but just, that's just generally what I noticed. Would I love to date a Filipino? Yeah, would you love to? Um, I don't know, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. You are, you are already living here in Cebu City, so <laughs> most of the, of course, there are a lot of Filipinos here. <laughs> so I've given the chance, like someone would approach you and ask you to go on a date. For for friends, if it's just like we just want to like hang out, talk, like yeah, just keep friends. Yeah, sure, I'll, I can keep friends. But dating, I'm not sure. I want to date. I want to marry a Nigerian mm. because anyone I'm dating now, I'm not dating just for dating. Anyone I'm going to be with now, it has to be like okay, we are talking about. I don't want to waste time. You're no. dating to get married. To yeah, I'm not dating for, for friends, so I can't say I want to date. Was for fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I would rather like date a Nigerian. That's my what I want. But you had a Nigerian boyfriend in the past. Of course, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would really love to go to Nigeria. You know, one day, one day. Wow. <coughs> and when you come to Nigeria, people will really love you because one, you're Nigerian, like your dad is Nigerian, <laughs> and then your skin. Like people, they are going to really love you, honestly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you guys look at look at the beauty. Let me bring, <laughs> let me bring the camera close. See, look at the be the beauty. <laughs> ah, but she's married. Ah, but she's she's engaged. Oh. So she's off the market. Yeah, she, I'm she, off the market. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to marry. She's getting married to a Finnish guy. So, ah, but I wish we were still single. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice for you to come back to Nigeria, but I no. mean, your your boo has taken you away, but it's, it's okay. We can actually go there one day. For holiday, right? For holiday. We actually have um, like places you can go to, like um, for visits in Nigeria. We have like in Lagos, we have a lot of beaches. We have um, in Calabar, in Cross River, we have Obudu Kato Ranch. Like they are very interesting places mm -hmm. to visit in Nigeria, actually. And it would be fun for you, especially that you've not been there, like yeah. the culture. It would actually be so great, you know, to see my roots. Yeah, honestly. To see the culture. Like, of course, like, even though I haven't been to Nigeria, but, you know, 
I'm always half Nigerian and half Filipino. Nigerian by heart. Yes, Nigerian <laughs> by heart. So I, do you plan to stay here for good or you're going you get, back to Nigeria? No, let me tell you. The thing is, um, how the health system is in Nigeria, it's not so wonderful. Mm -hmm. In fact, doctors are relocating to UK, Canada, just anywhere. People are really, like medical doctors. I think doctors. it's the same here in the Philippines. Yeah, I heard you guys relocate yeah. too. So people are really relocating. But the thing is, as a Nigerian or a foreign student, um, it's not really easy for you to get to write the board exams here mm -hmm. as a foreign student. So it's not in my plan to stay back here. Mm -hmm. So after graduation, I would have to. Well, that's my plan, though. But I mean, I'm open to whatever God says or whatever better plan God has for me. But my plan now is after I graduate, go back to Nigeria write both the exams in Nigeria mm -hmm. then do my internship so after the internship you have a better chance of maybe passing the UK licensing mm -hmm. exam soon. Mm -hmm. so what brought you here in the Philippines what made you decide to study medicine here in the Philippines mm -hmm. very good question I, I actually made a video about that on my channel um, you know I'm 32 I started med school school when I turned 30 mm -hmm. now how the educational system in Nigeria is um, one it's very difficult to get into medical schools and even when you get in um let's say medical school is six years in nigeria mm -hmm. but i already have a first degree in biochemistry so for people like me i'll be allowed to do five years right mm -hmm. but now the five years you're not sure that you would spend five years because of a lot of factors um sometimes the school goes on strike, especially government school so if they tell you five years, you're not even sure that in five years' time, you would be graduating. And I'm not that young anymore. If I was like 20 or 19, I don't mind studying in Nigeria. Like, if they want, they can't take my six years. I don't mind. But I was considering my age. And I was told that in Philippines, I'll get to do just four years with my first degree. I already have a pre-med back from Nigeria. So I get to do only four years. So that's why I chose here. I know that. I mean, in four years' time, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm out of here. I'm, I've gotten my degree and everything. So, yeah, that's why I came here. And also, in addition, I've never really traveled out of Nigeria. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, this is like your first. Yeah. So, I, I really want to, even though the pandemic is not really <laughs> helping matters, mm. but I really wanted <laughs> to like experience different culture, you know, somewhere different from what I'm used to, basically. So, like for <laughs> Filipinos, if we wish to go to Nigeria, do we need a visa? Of course, of oh. course, yeah. You do need a visa. We have lots of foreigners too. Well, I know some Chinese people ah. that live in where I live in Lagos. Mm, wow. Like, yeah, they ha we have Chinese people in in the estate where I live. Lagos um, is the capital of Nigeria. It used to be the former capital, mm. but Abuja, Nigeria, is the capital. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Lagos is. But Lagos is like one of the bubbling cities. <laughs> like Lagos is like the center. Like everywhere, like, everything. If it's in Philippines, it's like the Manila. Ah, Manila is like Abuja, basically. Ah, okay, okay. But comparing Abuja and Lagos, they are like two major cities in Nigeria. Abuja is more like on the calm, posh. Ah, like okay. it's very expensive living there anyway in Abuja. It's so it's very, like the New York. In yeah, like Nigeria. it's very, it's very, very. It's a high class area. Even Lagos, so, um, in Lagos mm. is quite. It's also expensive, but I mean, like in Lagos, you can get a blend of different class, <laughs> high class, middle class, low class. Like, and no matter the amount you have, you can actually live comfortably in Lagos. Mm. Yeah, Lagos is an amazing place. <laughs> but, oh my god! Then, then, then in Lagos, we have traffic because of the population is crazy <laughs> the population mm -hmm. in lagos is mad like a lot of people live in lagos mm -hmm. so it's a very densely pop populated city in nigeria so we get to have lots of traffic you can't just wake up and say oh we want to visit you will be stuck in traffic <laughs> <laughs> but i really mm -hmm. love lagos i i like the i like generally i like nigeria actually but just that we have um we have corrupt government officials, I would say. I think it's everywhere. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. ah, but I wish things were a lot better. Nigeria mm -hmm. is actually a good place to live, but the way things are going, the insecurity, um, a lot of things are happening. But aside that, I mean, like, if you're, if you're considering the people of Nigeria, they are very amazing people, I would say. Mm -hmm. They are hardworking people. Even though things are so hard, people still find a way to 
make life, you know, oh, yeah, make ends here meet. In the Philippines. Yeah, like, people are really life hard working. Life here is quite hard, but you can see people really doing their best, you mm. know, to meet ends. So yeah, very hard working. Yeah, honestly. Even though like we we have, um, I don't know the perception people have about Nigerians here in the Philippines or even abroad. I know like people look at Nigerians like, oh my God, like. Are you are you being real? Because of we have a love calm. Yeah, because we have like a few bad eggs that maybe they can they kind of dent the image of other Nigerians because exactly. they are good. Actually, they are good Nigerians, but yes. it's just unfortunate that sometimes we have a few bad eggs. If you experience something bad, even though it shouldn't make you have a generalized opinion about a certain group of people, but then you're go just going to be more careful when that's why i i tell nigerians like wherever you are living just be a good ambassador do the right exactly. thing do the right thing because i mean you're not just carrying yourself yeah. but you are carrying the yeah. whole entire population exactly. of nigeria exactly the nigerian people because yes it's really sad because you know when people see you and they know that you're nigerian they will automatically automatically think oh nigerian scammers i mean that's I mean, the sad truth so wherever you are if you're nigerian <laughs> watching this Please, please represent us well. <laughs> we're begging and we're pleading you. Be oh nice God. citizen. Yeah, no. honestly. In reality, we have very amazing, hardworking, intelligent and smart people, Nigerians, that. honestly. <laughs> and another thing is people shouldn't, because of one experience you have with someone, you will now generalize a whole country because of just an experience you have with... Because, you know me, when I came here, um, the first house I lived in, it was okay. Then the second ha house I moved to, do you know, we moved to this house around, I think January or so, and then it wasn't even up to a week mm. or two weeks. This, the landlady said, they sold the house. How? <laughs> I just figured maybe she didn't want us to stay there. I don't know yeah, her probably. reason, you know. I was really mad. I was very upset. But that, the, but the way she treated us didn't make me like I would see every Filipino as being bad. Yes, I mean it's also sad because there are some people here who are also racist. Some, right? Yes. Yeah, some. But of course, there are a whole lot of nice Filipinos in here. Yeah. But you know, there are just you know very few people who are yeah not nice. Yeah, honestly, I won't use because of that bad experience of course not just her i've had other like experiences with filipinos but i'm still like i still have an open mind i'm not just going to use because of one person one person and judge exactly. a whole <laughs> a whole country and also you guys should do this if if because one nigerian does something bad to you then the rest of nigerians are bad that, then that's not nice that's not being realistic because mm -hmm. they are also amazing good people that doesn't, what made you stay here in cebu like you know we had a pandemic which started last year is a very like why you did not decide to just go back to go nigeria back home, for right? the meantime yeah because i know that doing online classes from for, from nigeria personally for me it's not going to be convenient mm -hmm. one because of the time difference then you have to deal with maybe internet. Mm -hmm. Internet is very expensive, but most importantly, I wanted to be focused. If I'm at home doing it, mm -hmm. I may not be focused in my studies, basically, yeah. But most importantly is the time difference. We are seven hours ahead. So oh. imagine if you have a nine o'clock class. A nine o'clock class in Philippines means that it will be your nine minus seven is what? two right that means it to be your 2 a.m in nigeria so how do you deal with that <laughs> but do people really traveled early. actually my housemates one of my housemates mm -hmm. she traveled and she's coping well but i know for me i know what works for me <laughs> being a doctor does it run in your family actually i'll be the third medical doctor in my wow. family yeah so my great. my brother my second brother is a doctor he trained in nigeria but he currently um, lives in Australia. He works in Australia too. He lives with his family there. He also he's also licensed to practice to work in the UK. He worked in the UK for I think one year mm -hmm. before he moved to Australia. <laughs> and then my oh, elder sister great. is also a medical doctor. 
You should stay in Nigeria. <laughs> I know, I'll right? be a doctor in Nigeria. Yeah, I, mean, I would love to. Nigerian people need doctors. Yeah, they need doctors, <laughs> but our government, <laughs> they are not really helping us. They are not really doing well for doctors, honestly. <laughs> the pay, then some government hospitals, the government will not pay you. They will owe you your salary. So, that's why imagine that. Doctors are living. Yeah, not, not just about the pay, the infrastructure. Except for private hospitals, very good private hospitals are very well equipped, they pay them, but when it comes to government hospitals, I'll be honest with you, that's why we have lots of Nigerian doctors relocating. Mm. Yeah, I think, that's I think it's also the same here, like there are a lot of medical practitioners who are leaving the country because Especially of the nurses. Pay. Especially nurses, nurses here. Like I have a lot of them, like my subscribers, they will tell me, oh, I work in the US, but I schooled here, and stuff like that. Like they're leaving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, We're guys. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. This is all we are drinking. <laughs> it's a nice conversation, anyway. Thank you for watching our little chat. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you.